We speak with the Ohio Electric Cooperative for an in-depth look at the origins of electric co-ops and an update on their meetings in Washington this week. Good morning and thanks for joining us on Market Day Report. This Monday, I'm Christina Loren. In 1935, the Rural Electrification Administration was established to expand electric service beyond the country's metropolitan areas. Now, since then, Ohio's electric co-ops have become the wholesale power supplier for the 25 electric cooperatives serving the state. Joining us now from our Washington, D.C. News Bureau is Ohio's Electric Cooperative's Director of Government Affairs, Mark Armstrong. Thanks so much for joining us, Mark. We're really happy Thank to have you. Thank you, Christine. It's good to be here. Well, we know that there's a really rich history here. Let's start with the origins of electric cooperatives in this country. Sure. So Ohio's uh, electric cooperatives and electric cooperatives around the country, uh, they got their, their start in 1935 when President Roosevelt signed the Rural Elect Electrification Act. This allowed farmers to get together uh, and form their own electric cooperatives uh, to provide electric service to a rural landscape that otherwise was not being served by the larger uh, industrial uh, or, or the, the larger investor owned utilities. Uh, at that time, only about 10% of the rural landscape had electricity. So, this really allowed farmers uh, to uh, increase their, uh, their productivity and really catch up in terms of, uh, of, of how business is done in rural Ohio. Okay, now how large is Ohio's electric cooperative network in comparison to, say, the national co op footprint? Sure. So, the, so nationally, there are over 900 electric cooperatives around the country, uh, serving in 47 states. Uh, collectively, they serve power to about uh, 45 million Americans. Uh, in Ohio, we have 24 uh, state-based electric co-ops. We serve about 40 percent of the landscape of Ohio, uh, and, and that ultimately reaches about 1 million uh, Ohioans. Wowee. Now, how do electric cooperatives differ from other electric utilities? Can you give us kind of the nuts and bolts there? Sure. I mean, there's, there's several um, similarities and, and, and obviously some differences. I think the most notable difference is that electric cooperatives operate on a not-for-profit basis. Uh, this allows uh, members to be uh, served uh, adequately by their, uh, by their electric cooperatives and in a way of, um, of self-governance. Uh, electric co-op members have the opportunity to uh, elect their, uh, their, their boards of directors and ultimately the co-ops uh, have an interest in serving their members and not shareholders. I think that's the key difference. Um, really, uh, it, it's a, a cost, of, a cost of, of doing business that uh, really has worked uh, for co-ops for a long time. Wow. And you know, you keep using that terminology, members, as opposed to customers. What's the reason behind that? Well, if you receive power from an electric cooperative, you are obviously a consumer, uh, you are an owner of the cooperative, and you are a member. Being a member affords you the opportunity to have a direct impact uh, on the cooperative, uh, and it gives you a right to vote for who oversees, uh, who oversees the cooperative. Uh, that's a connection that uh, a lot of other utilities don't have. Okay, well that's really outstanding. Some things that maybe people weren't aware of out there. Now, why are you in Washington this week? Yeah, so this, this week, leaders from Ohio's electric cooperatives and co-ops from across the country are in Washington, D.C. as part of the National Rural Electrification, excuse me, the National Rural Electric Cooperative Association annual meeting. We're, we're going to Capitol Hill. We're talking with our, our elected officials uh, about the issues that matter to, to our members. Okay. Well, we hope that your meetings go well. And for all of you and your members out there, we hope that you're able to get some business taken care of while you're in Washington. We look forward to hearing about that business in the future. Ohio's Electric Cooperative's Director of Government Affairs, Mark Armstrong, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you, Christina.